Fight number eight, all thanks to LMR Project Management, our blue corner. Weighing it at 77.3 kilos. Four wins from five starts inside the cage. Fighting out of Adrenaline MMA from Melbourne, Victoria, Joey Karami. His opponent with one fight and one draw weighed in at 76.2 kilos. He trains at the Triune MMA gym on the Tweed Coast, Boston Canes. And we're off in this welterweight B-class scrap. Sportsmanship from both fighters. Boston coming out with a kick early. Looking to counter. He's waiting for Karami oh, to come in. We hear that leather. Right. Yeah. yeah, they just clash already. And living up to the pedigree of wrestling. Karami goes in oh, for that takedown Boston and Boston turns it over. Looks to take man here, Jake. He he's does. He's shaken off here And he Karami. loses it. Yeah, Karami with a deep underhook. He manages to turn it around. Gets Boston down now with like a scarf hold, almost judo throw. These welterweights are slippery. Yeah, they're going for it already. Mount position here by Karami. Looking go for a submission, trying to control Boston. Boston is working. He's not giving up. Not letting Karami come up in posture. He needs to be careful here, Jake. He's throwing his arms up and, you know, he's at risk of an armbar. Although you do see Karami with the grapevine. So yeah. it's, it's pretty hard for him to transition from that position. And Boston is a purple belt, so he's, he's fairly aware of what's going on, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, Boston, uses, he just sits up and just steps out. He says, excuse me. Oh. Trying to swing there, he needs a, a back fist. It's a back fist a thon. Working on the cage. Karami really deep on a takedown. As you can just see, uh, Boston's hand just peeking through for a very, very shallow underhook there. Yeah, Boston's doing a, a really good job, although he does go down there, but he, you'll see him pop back up to his feet. Yeah, he's using the cage, he's wall walking. I'm just looking to smother here, stay on top and, and do some work. Although, again, Boston just straight out. Fantastic scrambling. Yeah, two Another of them. Another one. To Karami. Oh, he's clipped Karami a few times. He looked dazed. Karami just going into survival mode, does what he knows best, and he goes in for that takedown. Boston trying to use a Kimura grip to fend off the takedown here. Looks like a single leg from Karami. Karami trying to knee, keep Boston's mind off it. Oh, he's got that Kamora grip. Yeah, he used it really well. He did. And the boys are back in the middle of the cage. The hands are down from Karami again. Oh, a bit of Kung Fu. Deep, deep take down there. And Boston goes for a ride. Oh, right in the point of the back. Karami looking to take a bit of a rest here. Oh, he does take him out. Yeah. It's a very hard position. Boston sort of keeping his posture down. He's reaching that arm over. If Karami postures up here, it's he's a world of trouble. There, Jake. As you can see, he snuck that right hand underneath. He has. He goes to the hooks in on the back. Will we see another rear naked choke? Oh, he, he seems to like it here. He might have the submission. This could make it three for the night. Boston Boston's turning. turning. And he's out. Yeah, right in his corner there. You can see his coach, Brett Jacobson, telling him to turn, turn, turn. And he does, and he gets out. Still a very precarious position for Boston. And that's the end of the round. Great round there for Karami. Around. Four years of training. I mean, and it's on display here tonight. Very composed. Made Boston work. Got him down to the ground. A few mat returns. And Boston Keynes was in it the whole time. Even with that submission that seemed to be on, he fought his way through it. There's fight in him yet. Dare I say, another fairly even round. Yeah. Down. Building industry training, cost effective, on the job training of apprentices for the construction industry. Employer incentives of up to $6,000 are available. Buildingtraining.com.au Here we go, the action is getting underway in the second round. And similar start to the first, Karami with his hands down. Another spinning back fist yeah, attempt. Massive clash there. Karami just hands down, does not care. He almost wants Boston to swing because he can just come in on a takedown. 
which it looks like we've seen here. Boss is a little narrow with that, that base. Mm. Goes to the Kimura grip again. He yeah, used that well last time, Jake, as you said, to, yeah, absolutely. to get out of the bad position. And goes to the underhook on it. Nice. Oh, Going for knees here. I mean, it worked before. He stunned Karami in the first round. Oh, big Karami wears it. His. Oh, another massive takedown. This time right in the centre. There's no cage here for Boston to be able to wall walk up. How does Boston go from his back there, Jake? Do you, do you typically see him work from his guard? Yeah, absolutely. He's got a very tricky guard, which we've just seen here. Very active. I mean, he's keeping the posture of Karami down to negate a lot of these strikes. He's got a very tight closed guard. Um, definitely no slouch. Karami is doing a good job of getting Boston flat on his back, and you know it's hard to sort of be powerful from that position. It is. And uh, every second that Guard's winds open. down on the clock, this is uh, a second that Boston can't get back. This isn't a Jets comp. This isn't really a 50-50 position. I mean, the guy on top in MMA, he's taken the round away. Agreed. Karami's getting a few little cheeky shots off, but you know nothing that's doing too much damage. Boston's doing a, mm -hmm. a good job of of negating those shots. But here we go. We see a little bit of posture from Karami. Yeah, oh, Boston throwing the arm in. He's looking for a triangle here. Oh, very close. And Karami uses it to pass. The frame there from Boston trying to keep him back on the strikes. And he sits up again. He might be giving his back up. But Boston's got that, that sort of bulldog grip there. He does. And he uses it to get up. That's pretty surprising. You don't see that a lot. The old schoolyard headlock. Yeah, why not? And man? back to the figure four Kimura grip. You can see the rounded back of, of Karami's. You know, he's clearly a little, a little bit tired. He wants to pressure in and, and work for that double leg again as, as he's been successful with before. Yeah, sure. Really making Boston work. Deep on a single here, but that second leg is right there. We might see him change to a double. And right as I say that, he goes in and then back. Doesn't have a terribly strong grip. It's, they're right in front of us here, Jake, and I can just see an S grip, which... He's typically the strongest, and, and they're broken up back in the centre. Here we Tim go. Tim Takano, seen enough. Oh. oh, Boston just winging a shot there. He wants this fight finished. Possibly giving away two rounds. He's looking to just swing Ooh. at Karami and get him out of here. I mean, if one of those shots lands and puts Karami down, all that wrestling on his behalf was for nothing. Another dominant round there for Karami. Such a heavy, heavy wrestling-based attack. Boston's breathing pretty hard on the stool here. Still plenty of fight in him. Yeah, real credit to these boys. Both, both of these fighters are leaving it all out there. Nightcraft Bobbers now offers Nightcraft Finance. Plus free funds, nightcraftfinance.com.au for an easy two minute online application. Third and final round. Oh, Karami comes out with the, with the knee early. Looks for another spinning back for you. So I did say earlier that the boys are looking to get a few of those off tonight. Yeah, you're not wrong, mate. There's something in the water. Everyone's ch chucking up these um, chucking up these spinning back fists. Boston turns it around. Oh, oh knee. another knee. He's really gotten off with these knees tonight. He's timing them really well. This time he's got the cross face, Jake. And he's just lost it. Karami sneaks the head back close to the body. So he can really press those hips together and suck those legs in. There we go to that classic double that he's been hitting all night. He's going to look to posture punch again. There's a lot to like with uh, Karami's wrestling game here. It's just so dominant. And the onus, um, unfortunately, is on Boston. He's the one that's got to get up. He's the one that's got to defend these takedowns. Although Boston finds himself in a, in a fairly bad position at the moment, you, you do get the feeling that he's still very much so in the, in the fight. And, you know, as we saw before, he threw up a triangle attempt, so it'd be interesting to see what he can do. But as you can see, Karami very intelligently pressing pressing Boston up against the cage and working his neck against the cage there, which makes it very difficult for Boston to actually raise his hips and be strong from this position. So again, Karami using his head, forcing him against the cage. And as I, as I say that, Boston does throw up an attempt, but as you can see, very tough for him to raise his hips and actually get to a dominant position from there. 
It's the final round for these two ladies and gentlemen. Let's get them going. Make some noise for them. So Boston needs to turn his head away from the cage now. He needs to start to maybe look for a, a war walk or, or something of that nature and, and get to a, a, a better position because as, as it stands, he's not in a good way. And again, we see another example of ineffective hips in that position. Yeah. 60 seconds to go. Much Come like on, Eternal. Much like Dave said. 60 seconds to go, and I'm sure that Boston can feel this fight getting taken away from him second by second. But it's just such a big ass. Welterweight, and especially big welterweight in Karami, with such a strong wrestling background. I mean, he's just really putting Boston to work here. He's making him fight for absolutely everything. Even that, that short underhook that Boston had to get. I mean, it took him nearly the better part of 30 seconds to get it, and he had to fight every second of the way. That's right, and I think, you know, at 4-1, and one, Karami's definitely shown his experience in the cage. Looking guillotine. for a guillotine there. He's really under the neck, looking to lift Kane's up. He needs to get his hips underneath Boston here, but he elects to throw a, a knee to sort of soften him up a little bit. Yeah. Boston's still got a little bit of posture at the moment, and he's fighting the hands. He is. He's fighting them beautifully. He's done well to actually get out of that guillotine. It was so deep. And and he fights out. it off. Look for Boston to swing. 10 seconds of Karami with another shot. And that's the fight. Such a fantastic display from Karami there. I mean, he never looked like he was out of the fight. That just goes to show how much effort he put in. I mean, he lays back down. Project Management to present our trophy. Thank you. Yeah, Karami, just, I mean, he had his foot on the gas the whole time. Just came forward, made Boston work for everything. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we get the judges' court cards after the three rounds of fighting. The unanimous decision goes to the blue corner, Joey Karami. Fuck, I'm about to pour off some liquor. I'm about to pour off some lean. I got blue cheese in my jeans. I'm on my queen lean. I got my teens yeah, clean. No it ain't no really dominant between. Dominant performance in from in from in Joey Karami. I had to figure it out. And such a class act, Boston Keynes, giving him all the props in the world. LMR Project Management. The directors Lee and Darren for being here tonight.